Welcome to Tech Shorts, a collection of hints, tips, and tricks to make you a more effective ServiceNow developer. I'm Chuck Tomasi. In this episode, I cover how to create tables and fields to reference information in other tables. This will be our data model for the safety app. In the first video, I created the basic application framework using Studio. It provides me a space to build everything else. Now I'm going to create a couple more tables and discuss some of the core concepts that make it easy for me to get started in ServiceNow. ServiceNow makes it easy to create new tables and link them together without being a professional database analyst. Here's an example of how I connect some of the fields in the issue table to the user table. And the system already has fields in user connected to the location and other tables. These are known as reference fields and they are a key feature in making our data model work. Before we go further, I need to explain table extension, a term that makes ServiceNow's data model very powerful and accelerates the time it takes to build applications. ServiceNow has a concept of creating fields and logic in one table and having another table inherit those properties. In this example, I've got the task table, which is one of the most common tables used for creating and assigning work in most processes. I've listed a few of the fields in the task table here. I can either choose to extend the task table to the issue table, as I did in the first episode, and perhaps add a few fields to the issue table, or I can opt to create a standalone table. Perhaps the inspection table isn't work that needs to be assigned, but instead is just a set of rules to support my safety issue process. How and when you choose to extend tables is up to you, and I encourage you to be familiar with this concept since it can save you a lot of time. Because I extended the issue table, it not only has the two fields I added, but it also includes the fields from task. This not only makes application development faster, but it allows me to create lists and reports that aggregate all of the data extended from task. For example, a list of my work would include all tasks assigned to me, including safety issues, IT incidents, project tasks, and anything else in the task table. The inspection table, on the other hand, only includes the fields that I provided. In this case, that's fine. I don't need fields like impact, urgency, or an asset ID, or anything else inherited from another table. Along with inheriting fields, issues also get some business logic and UI from task as a starting point. In just a few minutes, I've gone from no application to a pretty workable prototype. Now to create a couple more tables for our safety app. I'll go into Studio, pick my application that I want to work on, and create a table by clicking Create Application File, Data Model, Table, and click Create. This screen looks somewhat familiar to creating the initial issue table in the first episode. I'll create a safety task table in case some of my safety users require some subtasks to be executed on a larger issue. I can extend the task table to inherit all that wonderful stuff described before. I don't need the name safety in the table twice, so I'll tweak that here. And the rest of the information looks pretty good. I'll submit and the other fields from task appear. Let's do another one for those inspection rules I suggested before. Again, I give the label, review the name, but not extend any other table. I'll add my two columns for the category and inspector here. Note that I'm making the inspector a reference field to point to the user table. This is a connection or a link between the tables that I explained earlier. When I submit the form, I have my two fields that I added, and I also have some system level fields that are included with every table to keep track of some basic meta information. That's the basics on creating tables in ServiceNow. You can find more information on our product documentation site using the links provided here. I also invite you to visit developer.servicenow.com to get a free developer instance to try the concepts demonstrated in this video and learn more about building business applications fast on ServiceNow. Be sure to watch the other videos in this series to be a more effective ServiceNow developer. Thanks for watching.